find the boss. Although we're not sure if it's the right boss. But now the rest of the Australia team are here. Um, this is Jolto. Jolto, say hi. How's it going? This is Noah. Say hi. We love Noah. This is Skinny Matt. Matt. Skinny Matt. This is Sam. Where's Sam? There's Sam. Sam, say hi. Hello. Sam lost his games. Oh, I do love my games. And you know Simon. Hey, turn here. Say hi to the camera. Uh, the camera's not on. Mamma mia. Camera is on. Oh, he's just saying hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera. Hi to the camera. Mamma mia. Why are you doing that? That's Antonio. Stop, focus. Tell me what I'm looking at. Stop, focus. Tell me what I'm looking Sam. at. It's hard to enjoy, tell enjoy if you're good or right. bad. I, I did. Yeah. Yes. yes. I was just so much better than everyone. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're walking See, through so like a little better. catwalk. No. Um, from the training center to the food hall. Um, most important part of the day. Which is the most important part of the day. Yeah. And the best part of the day, because the food here is fantastic. Um, so, who, who do you fence? Who do you fence today? Uh, it wasn't even important, because I'm oh. ridiculous. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, you know, Italians, <laughs> uh, a couple, couple Austrians, um, a couple of Japanese, that was it. Who, who do you prefer to fence? Japanese. Yeah, the Japanese are fun yeah. to fence, hey. They're really, they're really nice and clean to fence. Yeah, yeah, no, so, they, and they, they make sense. They make sense to fence. Anyway. Yeah, and so now, here, here's where we are in Tokyo. I don't know if you can see very well. But, um, so, we're back here for another training session. But, there's no one else here. So, we're just sitting here, fixing weapons and hoping people will turn up to fence because if not we'll just lie down and go to sleep or something. Some people turned up to train but um, we have the poles and like Japanese under 20 fences and like a Brazilian, a couple of Portuguese, a couple of Austrians, I think the Germans just walked in. Um, there's a French guy having a lesson, but he won't fence. So, we're just gonna have fun with the Eastern Europeans and see what happens. So, here's a site. Shelter, what are you doing? I'm blowing around myself. Because I've got to be a towel, alright? <laughs> Is it effective? Basically. It's pretty right now. Yeah. We went out to go to go to the, the train station, but we forgot Simon. Wait, what are we doing? Um, we're going to the training right now and yeah, we're gonna get some public transport and have a good time. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> we finished training a couple of hours ago, um, which was fun. Got a fence, a couple of French guys, and um, some Japanese. French were really fun to fence. Um, it's easier to fence the, the senior guys than the juniors, actually. Now we're just going to chill in here. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Yeah, what are you doing with your life? I don't know. <laughs> so we just walked in to training and they set up a film crew behind me. Antonio was like, we're gonna go and play soccer. So. That was. What did you just do, Sam? This is what happens when we're all really, really tired and Antonio said you don't have to train but there are a couple of lessons going on so everyone's just watching those with a huge amount of you know interest and I feel like we're not going to move for the next three hours but tomorrow is a rest day so we're going to just go to the ice bars and stretch out and go to the gym a little bit but for now no one really wants to do anything. I'm just going for like my like duck. Yeah, exactly that bit. The room around the head of knees. 
And if you get into like a lunge like that, it's even cooler. Yeah. But I'm always, but I do it because it drops your body down. So yeah. that when you hit, you've kind of gone, you've gone, okay, I've missed. And you kind of just come down to here, and it's almost like an escape while you remiss. Yeah. Do you, do you want to get clips of me doing this? Not really, but if you want. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> there you come. <laughs> Not able to get hits on moving targets, but stationary targets. We're fine. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, there, guys. We are, are now leaving the hotel to go for a uh, walk in Japan at night because at night time is when all the lights come out and the dinner scene is on. And it there's another camera following me. That's never happened before. So just quietly, this is what. Hanging out with Simon involves life. Basically, Simon wants to do a time lapse. So, we're gonna kill time for about five minutes. Which basically involves him leaving his camera at a train station. Hey guys, I'm back in my room after having dinner and going out for that stroll where I got my bag. I'm getting really tired now. Um, the training's been pretty hectic. Um, I haven't really, and also I haven't really been training properly up until this point, so I'm a bit worse for wear. But something I really wanted to talk about was, uh, in this was, um, it's meant to be, it's meant to be a fencing vlog. But what's always I really want to talk about it is my own experiences from this. And so far I kind of, the main one that really stands out for me is, uh, you know, coming into this con, it was, it was my first, First World Cup, and going into the training hall yesterday was utterly terrifying because, you know, there were guys in there that I'd seen on television, I'd watched them fence, the French, the German, the French and the Germans particularly, because, you know, I'd met some of, I'd met some of the Japanese before, I met some of them before, but going in and, uh, and fencing, or trying to fence them, wanting to fence them, was scary and the, the the great british were there um yesterday as well great british great britain was there and that was terrifying like i don't i don't know if you had a similar experience there's nothing quite like seeing kind of your heroes but not being on the other side of a fence where you're going hey sign my shot is where you go hey can i fence you can i it's like can i play tennis hitting with federer or you know playing soccer with Ronaldo or something. So, and getting over that hump yesterday was hard. That was really hard to do. And, but today was, today was much better, I think. Today I kind of, well, I think what happened was that I, I had a bout yesterday with a great fencer from Great Britain and I fenced him, you know? And I wasn't expecting that. I didn't know, because I didn't know what to expect. I was, I was going in kind of with the mentality of, hey, I'm going to get smashed. But I didn't, I went 15-13, I lost, but 15-13 against, like, number 5 on their team, number 5 or number 6. So he's good, and I think that kind of woke me up a little bit. And going in today, I wasn't nearly as scared, I, I could actually fence. And I think that was a really important lesson from, that I need from this competition. Because it's my first one, and you know, it's, it's the world of the big boys. So... And I think that's something scary and something I need to go over. But it's also the big learning curve from this comp. Because I'm touring Europe in January as well. And that that's going to be big. Like, that's two junior, two under-20 World Cups. And two senior World Cups. As well as training in Italy. And if I can get over that nervous hump now, I'll be alright for then. But getting over that and learning not to be afraid. Learning to actually fence how I want to fence. As opposed to letting them kind of just walk over me is going to be the important thing and hopefully hopefully we can but um i'm really tired now um tomorrow is a public holiday in japan so nothing will be open until past 10 which is nice to get a bit of a lie in can order organize my stuff i've got some weapons to fix um but looking forward to it and we're going to see if we can do weapons check tomorrow uh so i'm gonna to go catch some sleep i'll see you guys around